I know what you're thinking. Seal lost his fish. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's the most powerful 3D software. In order to make you understand completely, I'm going to take it back. Take it back all the way. Houdini first started development of its features in 1987, formerly being part of the Prism's suite of procedural generation, but was officially released in the late 90s. It was created by SideFX Software Incorporated, a Canadian-based company in Toronto. Most movie fluid and fire effects you see today are created through the Houdini software, as it is the most advanced 3D simulation software for the movie industry, for now. In 2002, Blender was officially released to the world, an open source 3D software developed entirely in Amsterdam by Ton Rosendahl. His company was formerly called Not A Number Technologies, but it became bankrupt in 2002. In the same year, Ton started another company, this time being non-profit, titled Blender Foundation. That's how it starts, the rage. Blender has now evolved to become the most influential 3D software in existence. In fact, this year, Warner Bros. Animation has announced that they are hiring Blender artists, which I find incredibly staggering. But what does this have to do with Houdini? Well, it has a little something to do with geometry nodes. More specifically, the Blender developers are releasing something that will rival Houdini. In the upcoming version of Blender 3.5, not that it isn't rivaled by geometry nodes already, they've implemented something bigger. Simulation nodes. This is huge. You can now create your own simulations entirely in Blender with these nodes. It's insane and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here I have this project. The main idea of this node tree is to detect the vectors of these two objects and switch the velocity of the monkey to zero if it gets too close to the cube. This will result in some kind of collision. The simulation nodes are activated via an if statement regarding the frame number and the location of the monkey is controlled with a set position node. So this is just a basic example. I'll probably make more complex videos on this once I've dipped my toes in further. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more and drop a like if you love the video. Comment your thoughts below and I'll see you in my next video.